2024 has just started. And we've already witnessed unsettling occurrences such as the earthquake in Japan, along with wars and famines unfolding globally. As 2024 unfolds, it's evident that the easy times are over, leading to a potentially precarious future. In today's video, we're about to reveal 10 biblical prophecies for 2024 that will shock you to the core. Firstly, let's talk about the relationship between China and the US, which is almost breaking apart over Taiwan. It seems like this year is going to be terrible for Taiwan. With China being aggressive in the region, people in Taiwan are figuring out how to protect their country better. It's where things get really interesting. In 2024, Taiwan plans to spend a lot of money, a record 19.4 billion US dollars on defense. They also made military service longer. Now, in his New Year's talk, China's leader Xi Jinping repeated the Communist Party's threats to take control of Taiwan even though China has never governed it. The Pentagon warns that China is making more nuclear weapons faster than they thought. It's possible that China is planning a mass destruction. The next prediction involves concerns about a potential nuclear assault by North Korea on the US or its partners, and it's stated that any government attempting such an attack would face severe consequences. The United States has cautioned North Korea that any nuclear strike against the country or its allies is not acceptable and will lead to the downfall of Kim Jong. Discussions on nuclear deterrence are underway as part of an agreement between the two nations to share more information on planning in case of a conflict with North Korea. But that's not what is shocking. Pyongyang has created and tested various ballistic missiles capable of reaching targets in South Korea, Japan and the US mainland. Moving on, we have the intensifying conflicts between Israel and Hamas. The war that began in October shows no signs of coming down, challenges persist, and a resolution is not in sight. Unlike many countries at war, Israeli officials haven't set deadlines and have warned of a prolonged conflict that might extend throughout 2024 and beyond. The goal of completely dismantling Hamas, as Prime Minister Netanyahu stated on October 7th, is considered ambitious and, according to many analysts, nearly impossible. Hamas's influence extends beyond Gaza, highly ambitious, if not entirely achievable for Israel. This year, the war could become increasingly intense, leading to numerous casualties on both sides. The next prediction is quite scary, as it may lead to worldwide consequences. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which began in February 2022, has been described as more dangerous than anything Europe has seen since the end of World War II. Both sides have since suffered devastating losses to their military personnel. The Kremlin has battered cities all over Ukraine with missile attacks, even as Ukraine has fought to regain lost territory on the battlefield and keep up a counteroffensive. Thought to be tired of the conflict and resistance growing in Washington, to open-ended financial support, Putin may see the war in Gaza as an opportunity to push his advantage. Last autumn, he withdrew Russia from the global treaty banning nuclear weapons tests and, with the world's largest nuclear arsenal, some Western arms control experts are concerned that Putin may be inching towards a nuclear test date and evoke fear. At the end of 2023 and beginning of 2024, Russia intensified its bombardment in two of the most brutal attacks since the war began. A Russian missile even entered the airspace of NATO member Poland, increasing the risk that the military alliance will be forced to retaliate. Now, when it comes to predictions, Nostradamus is a name that's quite famous. However, not many know that Nostradamus, whom people mixed his made-up predictions with real ones, he secretly read in the Bible. This made people who didn't know much about the Bible think that he was credible. Born in the 16th century, Michel de Nostradam shared his vision of the future in his 1955 book Les Prophetius. Predicted events like the Great Flood of London, Hitler's rise and Queen Elizabeth II's death. Nostradamus' predictions about the future often use language from the Bible, especially about the end of the world. However, the predictions I've talked about are not mine. They all come from the Bible, and each one pointing to Jesus coming in anger to set up his great kingdom on earth and judge the world fairly. Because he was worried about the powerful Catholic Church seeing his astrological work as wrong, Les Prophetius was written in a mix of Latin, Italian, Greek, 
and Provençal to hide its true meaning. Some people who believe in Nostradamus say that his predictions show that he correctly foresaw different world events, including natural disasters, bad things people did, and the deaths of important people throughout history. Even though his writings are not very clear and can be interpreted in different ways, did you know that some think that he predicted this year's earthquake in Japan? With lines like, the dry earth will become more parched and there will be great floods. He made people think about the credibility of his predictions. He also mentioned that 2024 would have a great famine through a harmful wave, which believers thinking harmful wave means an earthquake. Now there is a shocking prediction related to the royal family too. In a surprising revelation for both the British royal family and the public, Nostradamus is believed to have foretold that Prince Harry will become the monarch following King Charles III, according to media reports. How could this be when there is Prince William? This unexpected assertion comes from author Mario Reading, who in his 2005 book titled Nostradamus, The Complete Prophecies of the Future, suggests that King Charles III will step down from his throne, paving the way for Prince Harry's ascent. Reading also claimed that Nostradamus had predicted the death of Queen Elizabeth II in 2022. According to Reading, this prophecy, written in the mystic's book of poems 450 years ago, anticipated King Charles III assuming the throne in 2022 at the age of 74. Reading speculates that dissatisfaction among the British public stemming from Charles' actions towards Lady Diana and their eventual divorce influenced the predicted change in monarch. Nostradamus' prophecy suggests the unexpected rise of a man other than Prince William, indicating that Prince Harry would assume the throne as King Henry IX at the age of 38. Now, did you know that Nostradamus predicted the death of a pope in 2024? There is speculation that Pope Francis might be replaced soon, as indicated by the astrologer's predictions. In the astrologer's words, through the death of a very old pontiff, a Roman of good age will be elected. Of him it will be said that he weakens his see, but long will he sit and in biting activity. Currently 87, Pope Francis has faced health challenges and recently he had to miss the UN climate conference due to lung inflammation and breathing issues. This raises questions about whether he might consider stepping down from his responsibilities or facing more severe circumstances. However, there are more shocking things that might come to life this year and one of them is destructive earthquakes all around the world. In Revelation 11.13, it has been predicted, and at that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified and gave glory to God in heaven. Matthew 24 verse 7 says, For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and in various places there will be famines and earthquakes all these things are merely the beginning of birth pagans. So what about famines and earthquakes? There have been no doubt earthquakes and famines in the first century and during every generation since. It's hardly necessary to add this that not only false Christs and false prophets, wars and rumors of war, earthquakes and famines occur every age throughout the history of the church, but so do also persecutions and defections. But what does it mean when Jesus says that the earthquake will happen in various places? in many places means that the disasters in question will be widespread. According to Robert Gundry, the putting of famines for earthquakes may indicate that famines result from the ravages of the warfare just mentioned. The wars that are about to happen will bring with them large amounts of destruction and devastation, with famines coming along with it. If we follow the order from Revelation, then it's clear that the famine is the result of war, as is usually the case. Predictably, preterists believe that Christ's prophecy of famine was somehow fulfilled in AD 70 when the Romans destroyed the temple in Jerusalem. As we can see, the year 2024 is going to be far worse and World War III is quite imminent, it seems. To conclude, the most notable events this year would be the Iran-backed militias initiating attacks on US bases in Iraq and Syria, raising concerns that the Israel-Hamas conflict may escalate into a broader global war involving regional allies. The UK and US devising plans for a potential armed response with the UK, indicating a willingness for direct action. The ongoing conflict is seen as a part of a larger strategy by Iran, controlling groups like Hamas, Hezbollah and the Houthis, contributing to what some perceive as World War III against Iran-led radical Islam. The situation is complicated by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, adding another layer of tension and the potential 
for a wider conflict. The complex dynamics in the Middle East, coupled with global power struggles involving China and North Korea, raise fears of an interconnected crisis with severe economic and geopolitical consequences. It seems like we might be in the end times and there's no other sensible explanation for the current situation. John the Apostle got a glimpse of what the end times would look like, especially the last seven years before Christ comes back. In Revelation 6, he documented what he saw about the future and war is a significant part of those events until Christ's return. I strongly encourage you to genuinely believe in Jesus Christ, turn away from your sins so that when he returns to rule, you'll be well prepared.